Hi guys, welcome to TechPress with yet another video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up, how to get actually maximum out of your mid-end gaming rig. So if you have high-end gaming rig uh, like uh, latest CPU, Ryzen or Intel CPUs and um, 50 series uh, graphics card, NVIDIA or latest AMD graphics card, you don't need to, you are not worried of the performance or the quality of the graphics. But if you have a bit older version of this um, processor and um, the graphics card, uh, you may not be getting a bad high performance uh, and also a good frame rate while playing some of these games like Cyberpunk. So with the latest technology like FSR, I'm an AMD FSR, you can actually have pretty decent gaming experience even without high-end gaming rates. So that's what I'm gonna walk you through. You can actually do this on any games. I'm I'm here using Cyberpunk because that's the one game that I have that requires a uh, maximum resources of your PC. So uh, game developers are actually integrating this new algorithmic graphics scaling uh, technology into their game, like you know AMD FSR and Intel. XESS kind of technology and uh, NVIDIA's resolution scaling technology as well. And I have tried different technology, you know, with the different setting levels of settings. And I'll show you what's the best for the maximum out of your mid end gaming rig. And the gaming rig I have uh, uses Ryzen uh, 7 3700X and um, uh, NVIDIA 2060 Super. I was having really hard time playing this game. You know, I mean, not bad, but I was not actually getting a decent frame rate. I was stuck around 30 by 40 uh, frame rate, uh, you know, and if you stream on the same rig, then that's going to be really, really, really bad experience. Stuttering and sometimes it's, uh, the game is stuck, especially if you drive cars on uh, high speed, you know, the game sometimes gets stuck and crashed kind of problems I was having. So, so this is my uh, current graphics settings when it comes to graphics, you know, this is the settings I have. I've set almost everything, uh, almost all the settings to high, and except a few of them like, you know, volumetric cloud quality, that's not that important for me. And also distant shadows, distant shadows resolution to low. So but everything else I've set to high, you can see that, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and here you can see the ambient occlusion to medium and mirror quality medium and the level of details to high. So almost everything high. So you have that decent graphics experience. And the motion blur to low because mm, I don't like that high motion blur. So I have set it to low. Okay. And crowd density to high. This is where you have the problem. You know, if you are in the middle of city uh, with a high uh, you know highly crowded areas and vehicles moving here and there you're going to have problems you know playing the game sometimes uh, low frame rate and sometimes stuttering and kind of problems but i have set it to the high though and yet i'm now getting pretty decent experience with this latest technology they have added to the latest update and when it comes to ray tracing i have said everything I i've set the ray tracing on and ray trace reflection on but when it comes to ray trace to sun shadows and ray trace local shadows i have turned it off because that's not that important for me the that kinds of details and ray trace lighting on that's the most important i have set it to medium but you can try different settings but for me medium was fine uh, and if i set it to high sometimes a uh, frame rate will go down okay and uh, i have disabled patch rising and uh, patch rising in photo mode so the magic comes, no, there magic actually comes in this quick presets. This is where things come. I have set to custom. That's my settings, main settings. And when it comes to resolution scaling, there are three technologies. So the first one is DLSS Super. So this is actually AMD, uh, sorry, NVIDIA version of uh, Super Scaling Resolution. I have tried this. And this is not the best resolution, resolution technology out there. When I tried, the best resolution technology is uh, actually this um, Intel XESS Super Resolution. I have another video on my channel that I compare 
AMD resolution technology with the XESS resolution technology. There's a huge difference, especially at this uh, XES Super Resolution sharpness set it to 0 0.70. Even with this uh, sharpness, uh, AMD's resolution technology still looks kind of blurry, not bad, but kind of blurry. But when I set it to Intel XESS, that looks really crispier, I mean sharper and looked really neat. I mean, the CD and the uh, uh, facial features and everything sharp and looked really, really good. So I actually use Intel XCSS Super Resolution Technology. I think hands down, this technology wins against AMD's resolution and uh, NVIDIA's resolution scaling technology. And, and also I have set it to quality, even with this quality, you, know, you can actually change the settings to ultra quality and uh, auto kind of settings. So, and you can also set it to balance. If you set it to balance, you will get higher frame rates when you use frame generation. When it comes to frame generation, there is only one technology you can use, that is AMD FSR 3.1. This is the same technology you have for uh, image resolution scaling as well, but they have added this frame generation with the 3.1. But when it comes to frame generation, there is no Intel or NVIDIA technology out there. So this is the only option you can ha you can enable when it comes to frame generation, extra frame generation. So what happens is that if you enable this frame generation, suppose you get to 3540 uh, frame Per second without this uh, enable without enabling this technology but when you enable this it will actually double the amount of frame rate you get in as you play the game even with this all these higher um, graphic settings that's that's what it does okay but this is the only frame generation technology you can uh, you have right now okay but when it comes to resolution scaling I go with Intel XESS that's far better than AMD's and NVIDIA's resolution scale. And set the super resolution sharpness to a 0 0.70 or higher, maybe. If you, uh, I think if you don't have any problem playing the game, you can actually adjust that. You can try different settings, okay? So if you want higher frame rate, set it to balance, Intel super resolution to balance, or even performance, if you want higher performance, Set it to performance, or but when I tried uh, performance settings, um, the images were a bit blurrier, and it didn't look graphics didn't actually look uh, that good at all. But so if you don't want to go higher, you can actually set it to balance. Balance looked pretty decent and playable, and graphics looked neat. But I have set it to quality, and this Intel resolution scaling. Coupled with uh, uh, AMD frame generation works smoother. I get around 80 to 90 frames per second. That's amazing because with the current graphic settings, the ones that I showed you down here, I was getting 35 to 40 frames per second. But after enabling Intel Axios Super Resolution coupled with the AMD's, AMD FSR 3.1 frame generation, I'm now getting 80 to 90. If you don't stream, if you don't do any other stuff on your PC in the background, like streaming, you're getting 80 to 90 frames per second. Even that with high quality graphic settings. So these two technologies are actually GPU bound. So if your frame depends on your CPU, it may not be able to increase the frame rate, but these two technologies are actually GPU bound. So that's how it works. Of course, these two uh, CPU and GPUs do work together to produce the frame rate as well as image resolution scale. So that's how it actually works. So this is the settings I recommend to get maximum out of your mid and gaming PCs like mine that uses uh, 3700X and 2060 Super or even 2060. So you can try this on 30 series graphics as well. But of course, you can go even higher quality like, you know, like... Uh, ultra quality if you have 30 series graphics card. And when it comes to videos, I have this is the video settings I'm using. I have that uh, the frame rate, uh, maximum frame rate to 90. I have enabled this one as so you, you should enable this one as well if it's available on video 
section of your graphic settings and we get reflex low latency options so if you enable this it also uh, increases the performance of, of your game and uh, with the current settings that i have shown you okay there is this one as well intel xc low latency but i can't enable that i don't know why i tried sometimes but unfortunately i can't enable it but i can enable this one right now it's not working but it worked before so it should be working probably i have changed a couple of these settings right now that's why it's not working right now maybe i should uh, restart the game then it should work again so enable nvidia reflex low latency on or on with the boost there are two options here so both works both are fine and when it comes to them there is another thing that you need to enable that's go to utilities and here at HDD mode you can set it to whatever you want auto on or whatever i have set it to auto and when and there is this one setting that's called md simultaneous multi threading smt turn it on uh, turn it off or auto there is three options i have turned it on so what it does is that auto provides optimal performance in most uh, situations but turning smt on or off depending on the core count on uses all logical cores so that's what it does so when i tried turning it off it was actually affecting the performance of my game i mean when it comes to frame rate even with uh, fsr on i was not getting that high frame rate like uh, even 60. Uh, so you have to turn this on so it, it actually takes advantage of your cores uh, like you know you may have 3700x with eight core and uh, 16 threads so if you turn it on, it actually uses maximum cores available uh, on your PC. So that's what it does. So these are the technologies. I mean, these are the settings you need to turn on uh, to get maximum out of your mid and gaming rates. So I hope this helps. So let's try. Right now, I'm actually recording in the background on the same PC. Even then, I get around 76 77 frame per second but if i don't record or stream in the background i get around 80 to 90 frame per second now you even hit 80 sometimes right so that's uh that's how it actually works CPU is that 87 degrees Celsius. Um, that's around 63 percent of CPU usage. But if you have better cooling solution, like water cooling, I don't have that one. So you will have even better experience, you know, performance. Like you will get even better uh, frame rate and also uh, graphics quality, even on a mid and rig like mine Drops are coming after me. It disappeared. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. So please hit the like and subscribe and catch you on the next one.